Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about differential pair setup. So actually creating the differential pairs and then applying some physical and some electrical rules to the differential pairs. This is available in all levels of the Cadence PCB tool. So that's AllCAD PCB Designer Standard all the way up to uh, AllCAD PC, uh, Allegro PCB Designer. So um, we've got a couple of places where we can set differential pairs. Um, the first place is actually in, in the schematic. So if we look at AllCAD Capture, um, what we can do is, is select the design name in the project window and then go to Tools, Create Differential Pair. We can just pick the two nets that we're interested in. So if I did uh, data zero and plus or minus, give the differential pair a name and then click on Create. There is also an auto setup button where I get a list of all the nets. I've got a prefix and some positive and negative filters. So I could say plus is the positive filter on my net name, minus is the negative filter. These are effectively the nets that are used. This is the differential pair name that's going to be used. So I could add a prefix, maybe DP underscore, and then it would then add that to my differential pairs. I could then click on create. That's managing it in the schematic and then that drives it forward into, um, into PCB Editor and into Constraint Manager. If we actually go to PCB Editor and Constraint Manager, so we'll launch Constraint Manager. Another way, so if I haven't done it that way, and you can see I've got a couple that have done it that way coming through. Um, what I can do is I can literally just drag select the two nets, right mouse button, create, differential pair. Again, add the, the prefix if I wanted to add a prefix and then click on create. Or there is also uh, an auto setup here. So I could actually go to the nets and then it's objects, create, differential pair. Um, there's an auto setup button here. So again, I could use the positive and negative. So we use the positive and negative filters. I'm going to say DP underscore, and then I'm going to click on create. And those three or four differential pairs are going to get created. So once the differential pairs are there, you'll see them grouped. So obviously I've got a, a hierarchical object of a differential pair and the nets underneath that. So I now want to start looking at creating rules. And obviously rules can be done over as an override rule. I can set rules actually here in, in, uh, in the net based area, but the better place is actually go to the physical constraints, all layers. I'm just gonna do right mouse button, create a physical C set. Let's just call this diff one. So I can set effectively my min line width, what's my track thickness, um, my maximum line width, and then I've got my differential pair rules up here. Yeah, if you want more information about what all these settings are, if we actually go to the Parallel Systems uh, homepage, so Parallel Systems, Parallel Hyphen Systems at Code UK forward slash guides, there's a link up here for guides. There's actually defining a differential pairs uh, app note. And this goes through the whole setup of a differential pair. So there's some nice graphical representations about what the primary width is, what the primary gap is, net gap, etc. This is the gather control. Um, this is a basic idea of what phase is. And it goes through a complete setup um, if you're using constraint regions, if you want to set up different spacing rules, etc. So it's worthwhile having a look at this application note. So what I can do is I can just set some uh, a track thickness, so the minimum track thickness that I want to use. So maybe I want to set this as, as point, uh, let's go point 0.15. And then I'm not worried about a maximum, but if I was using impedance, for example, I could get my, my physical uh, thickness. What I could do is I could set a minimum and a maximum to be the same. Um, and then what I want to do is I set my primary gap. So my primary gap is going to be 0.15. My next gap, am I going to net the tracks? No, I'm not. Um, so they then set a tolerance which allows me to um, define uh, routing when I'm doing odd angles and things like this and it can help help with the DRC system. So what I would do here is normally set something like a 0.05 tolerance. And then I've got the midline spacing which would effectively be the primary gap or the next gap minus the tolerance. So in this scenario 0.15 minus 0.05 would be 0.1. So I could then set 0.1. And if I wanted to, I could actually set different values for top, inner one, inner two, bottom, or the different layers of your board if you wish. Um, and you just expand these out and set the values here as you go along. So if I wanted this to be point, uh, point 0.2, for example, you could see I could actually just set point 0.2 for the inner layers or the top. Sorry, I've done that on the, on the top. Let's do that on the inner layers. So I could set different values for all of these and just make sure the calculations are done correctly. In this example, I'm just going to keep the same value all the way through. So once I've set my physical rules, I then go to my net spaced area and I can then start to apply the rules to the differential pairs. So it's basically hit the drop down, pick a differential pair. 
So this is one method. Another method is what I could do is I could actually make a group of all of these differential pairs. So I could effectively use the control select to pick all my differential pairs. And then it's right mouse button, create a class. Let's call this diff pairs. And then what I can set is I can set the physical rule based on that level. So I could say all those differential pairs need to use that level of, uh, of, of rule.